Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm here. I am back at Physical Evidence Chiropractic with the one and the only Barak. Dr. David Lipman. Is there an echo in here? How are you guys doing? I'm super excited today to bring you more alternative medicine and healing practices. And today we are going to experiment on my lovely autoimmune body, disease body, for cryotherapy. So Dr. Lipman, I wanted to talk to my viewers and my followers about the benefits of cryotherapy and why, if they have injuries, etc., they should be okay, That's great. So I discovered the body cryotherapy, as it's officially called, about three and a half years ago. Mm -hmm. It was actually on the internet, and uh, actually the gal that worked for me at the time had seen it. She was, she was into Disney and talking about this cryogenic freezing, and then they see this mm -hmm. ad for this place that has this thing where you freeze yourself. So I was very intrigued. I, I talked to the guy on the phone, and I actually flew up to Manhattan, because at the mm -hmm. time, that was the only one that was around that I knew of, so right. I flew up there and um, got a little background on it, and I had my first treatment. And um, it was interesting because, I mean, it was a like it was an April day, but it was happened to be a week before the Boston Marathon. Oh wow! So there were actually a lot of people in there that were going to run the marathon. Some athletes. I remember I met a couple from Australia, right. um, some Europeans, and they were doing this daily in the week leading up to the marathon itself. And their rationale for it was that it helped to enhance the recovery of all their training up to that point and enhance oh. their energy systems and their performance for the race itself. I also in that day met some stockbrokers that actually um, would go early in the morning before they get to work because they said their wow. minds become so hyper-focused. And these guys have like eight screens they gotta look at all day long. Right. So there's no cup of coffee that can make them as alert as the cryotherapy. So I was able to sort of hear firsthand from different people that were using it for different reasons. Right. So finally I got to do it. And I have to tell you the first 30 seconds in there, I was like, get me out of this thing. And then like, cause it was so cold, I didn't know what to expect, you know? Right. But, you know, I just said, look, you didn't just pay all this money to come up to Manhattan and then punk out. So it's like, you stay there. <laughs> you can't <laughs> punk out. So I can't punk out. I couldn't punk out. But I have to tell you, once I sort of wrapped my head around what it was, I was at first fighting it and just thinking to myself how cold I am. And then finally realized, you idiot, put yourself in a warm place, like on the beach. And all of a sudden I'm like, ah, okay, I'm on the beach. That burning feeling is just the warmth of the sun. And it just changed everything. Okay. So it made me see that it was just, see, my body could handle it. It was my mind that was having a hard time. Oh, you know? okay. So that was my experience. And then, you know, I did it a subsequent time um, while I was still visiting Manhattan the next day. And I have to tell you, that night I had the best night's sleep I had in probably 30 years. And I woke up the next morning, there was an exercise class in the hotel I was staying at. And, um, I just, my energy was through the roof and the girl even said, she's like, what, you drink three espressos or something like that? And I so said, you had no. more energy the next day? I had That's more energy, I had slept amazing. I just felt invigorated and I, I was in dress, uh, dress clothes, so I had dress shoes and I was walking around Manhattan. Even that later mm -hmm. on that day, I walked around Central Park and I felt great, like no aches in the knees or the feet. I'm not used to striking the pavement. You know, we drive everywhere here in South Florida. We don't yes. walk like you do in Manhattan. So I, I left and said to myself, this stuff is amazing. I want to find out is there any in South Florida. So I, I looked around and on Google, and there was a chiropractor right in town advertising for it. So I went in, I tried it out, and I looked at it. And it didn't look like the same machine. And I got to tell you, when I went into that machine, I could have stayed in there for ten minutes. It was nowhere near the the degree of cold. Wow. So I realized. Is that good or bad? Well, I realized they're not all the same. Okay. So I set out to find what I would consider to be the best because. If you're going to get something like that, you want to have the best result, you know, for the client, for the patient. And so I went to L.A., I went to Dallas, I went to okay. Atlanta, and I tried four, five, six different, you know, makes and models. Yeah. And we finally settled on the one that we have here because it's the most uniform cooling of the body. A lot of the other ones were kind of heavier on the legs in terms of the cold and or just yeah. not getting as cold as this one. And that's where the great physiological response that's built into our bodies mm -hmm. happens. By that rapid cooling, the body goes into this mode where it's trying to survive against the cold. So anything that will enhance the body's strength, boost the immune system, your growth hormone, testosterone, improve your cell development in terms of regrowing your skin cells really rapidly. Okay. You burn like five to 800 calories for that metabolic increase that happens while you're in there. 
Yeah, increase. How many minutes do we burn? Three minutes. Three, three minutes. minutes. Right. We burn 500 that. to 800 yes. calories? Yeah, it's documented. I mean, I checked it out. I went on the National Institute of Health, you know, uh, wow. website. And so this stuff is documented. They've been doing this in, you know, in Europe for quite a few years now. It was developed in 1978, actually, okay. by a Japanese doctor who was doing it for rheumatoid arthritis and MS. That's exactly what it was actually developed ding, for. Ding, 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 mm -hmm. ding, ding. He said ding, ding, ding. the magic words. Yes. Yeah, so talk to me about how it can help people that have not only injuries or are people who are in sports or perform sports, but people who are maybe healing their body through other diseases. Right, so the key is is that because this is forcing the body, it's kind of, it's kind of like a bit of a hack, you know, this biohacking, mm. you see one of those big terms now, and a lot of the guys and girls out there that, you know, um, doing blogs and, and have different services trying to, you know, see how we can do that. So. What it's doing, it's, it's tricking the body into thinking that again, it's in this dire survival mode. And in doing that, obviously, we have built into our system, you know, our creator made us this way, that our bodies in response to that is going to reboot the system and optimize function of every one of those cells. Kind of like the light does, oh, okay. but from a different standpoint. This is from extreme cooling of the body as opposed to stimulating it with light like we did in the last segment, right. uh, Therolite. So it's the same, effect ultimately is helping to get those cells to now the physiology is geared towards fortifying the body against this cold saving it increasing you know red blood cells and oxygen carrying capability you know um, in wow. the body concentrating that which also ends up being how you get better endurance better right. strength but it's helping to regenerate and rejuvenate the body at the cellular level too mm -hmm. but just through the mechanism of extreme cold that's how it happens now, i have to tell you i haven't been sick in three years that i've been doing this and um, I mean, really? I'm stronger, I'm leaner, uh, just my overall mood is, you know, much better, you know, mm -hmm. just consistently. Um, you know, again, I sleep better than I have in 30 years, you know, so. That's amazing. It is. So recapping, healing, sleep, metabolism, immunity, what am I missing? Um, fat burning. Fat I mean, burning. Yeah. Wait, whoa, 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 another I mean, ding, ding, ding. Yes. <laughs> fat burning? Well, you got Tell me more yeah. about that part. Okay, if you have a deficit of five to 800 calories extra in a day because of that three minutes, I mean, that's a pretty significant deficit if you're doing it a few times a week. You know, you get a couple thousand calories that you're, you know, in, in arrears for, so to speak, because of that simple three minutes. So right. it definitely helps to burn, burn fat. It does tighten your skin. It, it helps your complexion. I have to say that my skin is definitely t um, tanner more. Um, not tanner, tighter rather, tighter? and okay. um, just more um, homogenous and, you know, not, you know, it's just very smooth and, um, you know, again, my endurance and I could really feel in the gym, especially because sometimes mm -hmm. I actually go in there right before a workout. So, oh. I mean, your energy's through the roof. I remember the first time when I came out of it in Manhattan, I felt like I can pop out like a hundred push-ups. I just had this, I felt like I was shot with an energy drink and a happy pill at the same time. Wow. I love that. Yeah. Okay. So, so are we... Are we going to try this? What do you guys think? You think I should try this? Um, I'm a little intimidated, not gonna lie. A little scared to be cold, but I know that I am in a safe environment with Dr. Lipman and his team. So let's go into the prep room and get me ready for my first cryotherapy session. Uh, Help me, God, help me. Okay, so I will see you guys soon. All right, so we are about to go into the cryo machine and let me do a quick clip and show you what the actual machine looks like. Okay, so this is the machine and it's, I'm gonna be stepping on, stepping up into this and going into this machine. And this is what it looks like inside. I will be putting my whole body in here and using the cryotherapy. Oh my gosh, I go. am going to change, put my gloves and my socks on because your extremities do need to be covered. I'm going to take off all my jewelry and leave my sports bra and underwear on and I'm going to go into the machine shortly and I'm going to take you guys with me. You are going to be here with me through the entire experience. Okay, so I have my socks on and these are 
the mitts that I'm going to be putting on while going into the cryotherapy machine. And guys, not gonna lie, I'm a little bit intimidated and a little bit scared. You know, that part of your body's protection mechanism starts to kick in and your body realizes that it's about to go into an extreme situation and my heart is racing and I'm definitely feeling a little bit nervous and um, I know that I'm gonna get through it and I'm doing this for you guys so that you can see the benefits of all of these alternative healing practices which I know will help you look better, feel better, and improve your healing process. All right, let's do this. Oh gosh, okay. <laughs> I'm scared, it's okay. okay. You're gonna be fine, so we're just pre-cooling it now just to get to that base level. Okay. So there are three levels of cold. Uh, we have level one, which is you know, the, the least cold, cold but not as cold as level two or level three. Each level goes up about 25, 30 degrees. And when I say goes up, I really mean down. So just so you know, you're going to be at about minus 135 degrees Fahrenheit. So that is the sound that the pre-cool is done, and you are now ready to embark on your very first whole body cryotherapy session. Okay. I'm going in. She's going Here in. Here we go. Okay, so I'm going to raise this up. I'm going to open it. It might be a little tough to see at first, but you're going to step up on that blue pad. Watch your head. This is going to go up through the center. Right am I, am I taking the earrings off? Nope. Your head's going to be out the whole time. Now face the mirror. Feather the frame the mirror of the camera. Now, okay. here we go. Here she goes. So this is going to be three minutes in total. What I'm going to have you do is maybe just do a little rotisserie turn once around. And just keep your head up nice. Looks looks good. Looks perfect. So you have now less than three minutes to go. All right. So. All right. It is getting cold, you guys. I'm doing a little jog, and I'm moving my body around because wow, 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 wow. Yep. Okay. So take me through a mindset journey so that I can forget that I am inside okay. of a cryotherapy machine. So right now, the best place to always be is someplace warm. And okay, all you have to I'm do is put yourself warm. in that warm place on the beach, calm, warmth of the sun, and you could actually start okay. to feel that sun's warmth because right now your body's met metabolic rate's actually going up. Oh, so wow. your body's starting to warm itself. I'm starting to feel the burn. Yeah, so it's burning my skin a little bit. It's gonna feel a little bit like that, so just do another turn around. Okay. Again, it's just because of the extremeness of the cold. But your body oh, it's hurting warm. my legs a little bit. So it tends to be, a, so it's not getting any colder than this. You hear that turning off? Yes. So this is at its max level one cold. Okay. Okay, so right now, just so you know, you're halfway there, you just got 90 seconds left, so you just made All it right. through half of it. All right, so. I made it through half of it. I'm feeling my legs and my knees hurt a little bit because that's where I have the most inflammation because of, because of my autoimmune disease. Mm -hmm. And so I'm feeling in my knees and in my wrist, my wrist, my knees, and in my ankles, mm -hmm. which is where... I've had the most issues in the past. Right, so as you said, it's definitely going to be a tr you're going to feel it where that inflammation is because right now it's shunting all that swelling out of those areas. So okay. you're going to feel that activity there. Okay. So, oh. Yeah, I'm feeling it in my in my elbows a little tiny bit too. Mm -hmm. Do another turn around, like do a full turn. Okay. You have less okay. than a minute to go. All right. So you're, you're almost done. All right, I'm almost there. Yeah. It hurts slightly. Uh -huh. um, but not to the point where where you can't do it. Right. It's it's definitely jarring uh -huh. to, especially my legs. I'm feeling it mostly in my legs. Okay. And I'm trying to stay moving, and my reaction is wanting to get out. Okay. I definitely feel like so I would like to get out. You got 20 seconds, and All right. this door is going to be open. In, in All right, this door is going to be empty. I'm, I'm going to get out very soon. <laughs> Wow, 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 wow. Ten, nine, Ten eight, eight, seven, seven six, six, five, four, three, three two, one. and one. Okay, door will open. All right. And you're going to 
I'm going to raise this at the end, and I'd like you to just take my hand, take a step. Your, your legs might feel like they're just slightly... Yes, they're a little bit wobbly. Mm -hmm. My legs feel a little bit wobbly. Oh my gosh. Wow. Okay. Woo. So this being your first time, I let you keep your, oh your robe on, I let you keep your, your sports bra on. Yes. So, so starting next time, we would do it without the robe on. Okay, well, the girl parts are going to be exposed next time to, to, the, to the ice. I will tell you that um, the initial reaction is when it starts to zero in on where the pain is, I immediately wanted to get out. Mm -hmm. I felt that, I, I, okay, I want out of here. Um, but you talking me through it mm -hmm. and me moving and keeping my mind focused on healing and keeping my mind focused on talking to you guys and putting something or doing something with my body that is going to help me, helped me to stay inside the machine. I will tell you that this is level one um, of whole body cryotherapy. I'm not going to be doing level two anytime soon. I think I'm going to stay with level one for a little while. Um, but I'm really proud of myself and I'm happy that I did it. It's funny, as soon as I got in, I felt it first in my legs, which is where I've had the most physical therapy and the most help from the medical professionals for me to get back on my feet, literally. And so that's where I felt the most pain. So why do you think that is? Why is that? Why did I feel the pain where I've had the most inflammation? Okay, because there is inflammation there. That process, once you get in there, all the, the blood and the fluid in the extremities is getting pushed into the core. So there's an active process of the vasoconstriction all pushing that fluid. Now, if you didn't really have much fluid there, there wouldn't be much to experience. But because there is more, because of the inflammation, it's going to be, in your mind, drawn to those areas. So okay. those areas have now had a great anti-inflammatory effect. Okay. So, and you'll notice once you, you know, get dressed and start moving again, that your body's going to feel way looser, more limber in those places, and um, you'll feel the results of that yeah. anti-inflammatory effect. Yeah. I feel, when, now that my skin is thawing out, I feel kind of a tingling mm -hmm. sensation and a warmth now, kind of flooding. Mm -hmm. It's a metabolic those rate areas. increase. All the blood was shunted to the core during the, the treatment itself. Now all that super oxygenated blood, because it was all concentrating oxygen molecules, try to save itself in the core, in the vital organs, in the nervous system. Now that's all coming out to your extremities. Wow. Yeah. Okay, so I'm going to get dressed and do the final recap for you guys in a minute. Be right back. I am feeling so good right now, you guys. So I came in here with my left knee a little bit inflamed and my right hip a little bit inflamed and some soreness in my quadriceps from my workout yesterday and I am post full body cryotherapy and I am feeling so good my knee I could barely feel my knee I barely feel my hip and whatever inflammation that I had in my quadriceps is gone so I'm kind of ready for my next workout Super, super excited about this. So what would you like people to know about full body cryotherapy um, if they would like to come in and give it a try? Yeah, so again, because of the various physiological effects, um, there's so many uses to it. So, and people would have different reasons and people that do come in here have different reasons. We got to speak to a woman just before your session did, yeah. that um, was doing it for the, the itch of eczema the eczema itself and then that inflammatory itch that she you know, that drove her crazy. So she's been doing it um, probably about two months now and she comes in probably two times a week. That's like her maintenance and it keeps all of her symptoms completely at bay. No more Benadryls at night. She sleeps better than she has in years too. Um, I haven't asked her if she's been sick at all but I, I, I mean every time I see her she she looks healthy. She's always upbeat. You saw that the woman. Yeah she's, she is, she's yeah. so cute. She was yeah. just so Excited vibrant yeah, and vibrant. beautiful skin too. Yep, right. So, and again, that's another one of the effects. You know, you, when you use it on a regular basis, you definitely can see the, you know, the, the renewing of your skin. It's like you know when you go skiing down the mountain, you get that cold on you, kind of have that nice healthy glow. But um, people use it again for you know. Michaela mentioned that she was talking about having soreness from working out. Yep. And um, people come in here and use it for recovery for that. You know, I'm doing it about five, sometimes six days a week. And I work out five or six days a week intensely too, 
but I never walk around sore, and um, I know it's largely due to the you know regular use of this. Yes. I've also taken my blood work, and I've seen my CRP or my C-reactive protein, which is a measurement of actually you know inflammation. It's even lower than the lowest end of the normal, and I've had it in pre you know wow. previously where it's been you know somewhere in the middle range, but since I've been consistent with this, mm -hmm. it's even lower than the low end of normal. So my cardiac risk profile is way down as a result. Again, I mentioned that. I haven't been sick in about three years. I sleep better, I'm stronger, I'm leaner. But all the people that come in here on a regular basis, mm -hmm. um, either for enhancing uh, recovery, um, pain, you know, mm -hmm. inflammation from pain, whether it be acute or chronic, uh, many of my patients, I'll actually put them in there first before I adjust them because reducing all that inflammation makes this process here in the chiropractic office much more um, easy on them, more mm -hmm. effective too because you're not dealing with that level of inflammation, which is largely causing a lot of the spasm and discomfort that right. people are walking around with. So using that in conjunction is a great way to help, you know, get somebody out of pain much faster. Mm -hmm. So anti-inflammatory, the extra calorie burn, recovery and enhancement of, you know, performance and fitness or sports. Those are the biggest reasons coming here, but we do have some autoimmune diseases as we mentioned, so. Well, I don't know about you, I'm convinced and I'm definitely going to be coming back to Physical Evidence Chiropractic here in West Boca and I am super excited to now get my chiropractic adjustment. Yes. Guys, alternative methods of healing are out there. Your job is to be as educated as possible. The only way to get well is to be your own healthcare advocate. So I'm going to invite all of you guys to open your mind and start looking for other methods of healing that will help you get to the next level in your life. I will see you guys soon. Bye-bye.